Hello and welcome to our video on the new and improved safety network platform. Today we will focus on exploring the new platform, how to quickly find information and how you can utilise all the resources available to you as part of your information and advice membership package. We will be covering browsing your service to find the right information, our new and more intuitive search, how to save and retrieve information in your virtual folder, and finding and utilising the tools available to you. So this is our home page. Uh, first of all, I must say that the content has not changed. It's as in-depth as it was before. Um, now the topics are actually spread across the page so that now it's actually easier to find um, areas that you're looking for. So by browsing in this particular section, safety, health, environment topics, there'll be relevant topics under this umbrella term. So take accident investigation, for example. Within each of these topics, you'll actually um, have a table of contents here which will give you links to different areas of a topic. So for example, we have quick facts which is an at-a-glance overview of the key elements of a topic which is here. We also have in-depth and that's for mostly every topic that we have. That's the most comprehensive source of all the in-depth information you need on each area. And you can see on the right hand there is a table of contents here that you can click through and it will take you to the relevant area. Or if you're using your mouse you can go down and it will scroll through the areas and there'll be an indicator just to check where you are so you can see exactly where you are within the in-depth section. With so much information available here, using these tools helps you navigate through this subject quickly. Going back up to the top, you'll also have access to other resources and model policies as well and sometimes how-to guides in relevant topics. And down towards the bottom of the page, you'll have related content, which, which just enables you to enrich your experience um, on this area. So you can click through two related topics here that might be relevant to you, or you can go to the related articles up here, which is links to questions and answers, and also any feature articles that are related to this specific topic. If you are clicking through and you get a little bit lost, you can um, also get back to where you were by using the breadcrumb here. This will tell you exactly where you are by looking at topics within safety, health and environment topics. And I'm within accident investigation in depth. So to go back home, all you need to do is click on the home button here. And that will take you back to the home screen. The search is the search now auto completes to react to your likely key terms. So what you can do is start searching risk assessment, and it will start to find what you're looking for. Now there's about 1,700 results matching risk assessment because it's quite a vague search term but what you can do is you can start using the filters on the right hand side of your page to start um, filtering it down to those particular areas. Um, so you can search by content type. If you were looking for risk assessments to do with um, legislation tracker you, there's 71 hits that you could click through there or you can do it by document type if you were looking for a particular form, for example, there's 16 results there. Or you could do it by relative subject matter. So if you were looking for a risk assessment to do with asbestos, there's 63 that I could go through there. Or you could do it by date as well. So if that's something that you knew came out uh, recently, then you can do it by date as well. Going back up to the screen, say for example I found what I'm looking for, if I click on that particular area, 
If you want to then save this information because you're working on a specific topic or project, you can share it by um, printing it straight from the page, email it to a colleague, or you can download it to Word, OpenOffice, or PDF. Word is particularly good if you're using a template such as a model policy, for example. The other thing that you can do is you can add it to a folder and by clicking this button this will allow you to add it to any existing folders that you have here or you can create a new folder. I'm going to add it to our policies folder, click on add to folder, that's now added to my folder and to find my folders you click on the top right hand corner, click on my folders and this will take you to all of the folders that you have available to you. And from here, you can delete or create new folders. Going into that folder that I've added to just now, from here, if I've got a lot of information, I can choose to prioritize the information by dragging and dropping the information. I can select one by ticking the box or I can select all and from here I can download the entire list that's in the folder to Word, OpenOffice or PDF or I can print it all. The other thing is if I've got a similar project or piece of work that I'm doing uh, that's coming up say in July, I can move these over to that particular folder so that I don't have to do the research again. Of course I can remove any content by clicking this button and um, I can add a note as well. This is a note and that will then be added to the top of the folders. This includes the function to combine any document or resource into a virtual folder created by you that you can access at any time and the purpose of this function is for you to arrange the content types in a way that suits you or if you want to collate content for your colleagues to refer to. To go back home, click on the home icon here. So just to explain the main screen again, below the topics you have several other resources that you can use. Underneath reference articles you have law and guidance. This includes a legislation tracker and case reports. Clicking on legislation tracker you can put forthcoming changes in your calendar so that you have ample time to prepare. This comes out on the 9th of May for example so all you would need to do is click on add to calendar and that will add it to your calendar. Going back to the home page and in the same area which is reference articles you have a questions and answers area and this is frequently asked questions and model answers taken from our advice line. At the bottom you have tools and documents and this actually includes fact sheets, forms and letters and model policies. The library of, this is actually a library of model documents which means you have access to pre-drafted um, pre legally compliant documents. We've actually done the work for you here which means you uh, can save time and also the pressures of maintaining a legally compliant set of documents yourself. We also update them whenever there's a change in law so all you need to do is download and use and you can download it just by clicking on that and downloading it to Word and then you can make it your own. If you'd like more information about the new Safety Network platform, please contact us using the information below. We hope you enjoyed this video and that it has made your researching even easier. Thank you.